Irritation, ingrown hairs, a razor rash, bumps, dark marks, and hyperpigmentation are all super common concerns in the bikini area that no one wants to talk about. But today, guys, we're talking about it. We're going to go through the different signs and symptoms of each of these concerns, and most importantly, what you can do to both prevent and treat them if you're dealing with them. Welcome back to the channel, or if you are new here, welcome. My name is Dr. Alexis. I am a board certified dermatologist. Today's video is all about the different concerns down in the bikini area, starting with the number one concern, which is irritation. Irritation commonly presents itself as a change in color. So if you are more fair, you may notice it looking red. If you are more melanin rich like me, it may actually just look your skin color, brown, or even a darker brown color. If you are feeling any itching, that can also be a symptom of irritation. Now, the number one cause of irritation in the bikini area is hair removal. Most common culprit is shaving, but that can also come from sugaring, waxing, or threading. Now, when patients come to see me here in the clinic, I do recommend laser hair removal often. Now, this is not an option for everyone. So let's go through the best shaving practices to minimize irritation. So the very first step for proper shaving technique actually begins days before you actually shave, and it is to exfoliate. You want to reach for a nice gentle exfoliant so you can get rid of all of those dead skin cells that are on the surface of the skin sweep away any excess oil or sebum that can really trap the hair and cause ingrown hairs now you don't want to do this on the day that you actually shave because shaving itself is a form of exfoliation and we're trying to prevent irritation so too much exfoliation can definitely cause irritation my recommendation is actually to do this a few days leading up to shaving you can even do it the day before but doing the day of gets a little bit risky. Now what you reach for to exfoliate really matters. <laughs> Guys, I spend hours upon hours online and in the stores researching and trying to find the very best products for your bikini area that I could recommend for this video. There is so much trash and garbage out there that you should undoubtedly avoid. So in this video, I only brought you the best of the best. I found some things that are in store. I found some things that are available online. A few of my favorite products are the We To The People, The Big Reveal. This is their PHA Ingrown Relief Toner. What I love about this one is that it exfoliates the skin at the same time as it brightens and it has PHA, which is one of the most gentle chemical exfoliants that you can use. Now remember, a chemical exfoliant is basically breaking up those glue bonds that are holding the dead skin cells together, allowing them to sweep away. So in addition to this one being a really good gentle exfoliant, it's also super hydrating by nature. So it's a great choice, especially if you have really sensitive skin. It is a little bit pricey. However, there's a much more affordable one that is equally fantastic, and it is the Venus Daily Soothing Serum. Now, this one has lactic acid. Lactic acid is a great gentle exfoliant that also moisturizes the skin. You guys see a trend happening here? So when you're picking exfoliants for the pubic or the bikini area, you definitely want to go with something that is going to be exfoliating, but also gentle. This is a fantastic product for that. It also has a triple humectant technology in there with the lactic acid. And bonus, it's super easily accessible. You can find this at your local stores, CVS, Target, Walgreens. They should all have this one here. Now, both of these products are actually leave-on exfoliants that again, you wanna do days prior to actual shaving. And you can even do them, of course, like the day after shaving. But if for whatever reason, leave-on exfoliants are not your thing, Venus does make a skin smoothing exfoliant specifically for pubic hair and skin. So now let's talk about the steps that you actually wanna do on the day that you plan to shave. The first step you wanna do is to actually soften the hair with warm water. This is gonna cause something called hydro fatigue. You're basically allowing the hair follicle to accept more water so it is swelling. It also helps to change the shape of the hair if it's more of a curly hair, it starts to stand more upright. This alone can help to prevent ingrown hairs while you're shaving so that it doesn't coil back so quickly. The other thing this is doing is helping to prepare the skin for a smoother shave. Now the next step is to actually reach for a nice soothing, a fatty acid, nourishing, gentle, fragrance-free shaving gel. We need something that's gonna give us a nice glide so we can minimize the friction, but we also want something that's going to soothe the skin 
easy to spread and easy to rinse. Bonus if it is clear or nearly clear because it allows you to actually see what you're doing. The two brands here are, again, Venus. This is their two-in-one cleanser and shave gel. It's a super gentle cleanser in addition to a shave gel. So you can use this on the days that you're not shaving. And the other one is the We To The People, a sugar cult moisturizing shave to gel. So this one has argon, grapeseed oil, marula, and sunflower oils. All fantastic if you are hyperpigmentation prone. All right, friends, it's finally time to shave. Make sure that you are shaving in the direction of the hair and never do you wanna use a dull blade. Dull blades are more likely to give you cuts, nicks, razor burns, and you're gonna to have to go over the hair with more passes, which is more likely to cause irritation. So always use a nice fresh blade and either go with a single blade or a blade specifically made for pubic hair. This is again, the Venus one. Guys, I did so much digging and research and these were the best of the best products. I do think you'll really enjoy them. Now this one actually has some built-in technology here. It has this little bar. You see that white bar? It's called the Irritation Defense Bar and it allows the razor blades to actually cut the hair while barely touching the skin. So if you, my friend, are prone to nicks or cuts, this may be something that you want to try out. Next, always, 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 you want to moisturize and replenish the moisture in your skin. Bonus, use something that has some anti-inflammatories and anti-itching properties in there. One of the best ones that you can use is this one by La Roche-Posay. This is the Cyclopass B5 Balm. This is super similar to that other product I talked to you guys about before called a Vin Cyclophate, but this one's a little more pricey. This one is super easily affordable. You can pretty much find it at every store and it's super full of nourishing ingredients, guys. It's got Centella Asiatica in there, Shea Butter, Panthenol, a bunch of other really great things that are really soothing to the skin. And it's very good for itch as well. If you are someone who has eczema prone skin, then you might wanna reach for something with colloidal oatmeal because that's really good for itching and eczema prone skin as well. Even if you don't have eczema prone skin, this would be a really great one Colloidal oats help to replenish moisture while reducing the itch. So I do highly recommend using a moisturizer with colloidal oatmeal as well. Now you may wanna take this a step further if you are prone to hyperpigmentation or ingrown hairs. You may wanna reach for something fancy like this We To The People Around The Bush Hydrating Bikini Sheet Mask. This has niacinamide and honey, so it helps to soothe and calm the skin around the bikini area and it helps to brighten the skin and reduce the likelihood of ingrown hairs. So I'm gonna open this up just to kind of show you guys what it looks like. But basically you put one patch on each side of the bikini line. So it really is gonna help to soothe that area of the skin. You can leave it on for like 15 to 20 minutes. And the fact that it's in this hydrating mask allows the ingredients to penetrate the skin a bit better. So it is something that you may wanna consider if ingrowns is something that always happens to you or you really do deal with a lot of irritation and hyperpigmentation because of the honey and the niacinamide in here. Now, if you don't wanna be so fancy and put on those patches for 20 minutes, you may wanna reach for something specific with hyperpigmentation ingredients that's gonna easily roll onto the area. This is the Live Tinted Super Hue Hyperpigmentation Serum Stick. And it does come in a stick format like this. Rolls up like that. And this one is also rich with niacinamide, vitamin C, specifically my favorite form of vitamin C, THD asorbate, as well as bakuchiol, which can help with some of that speed turnover, kind of similar to like retinoid, can help to turn over cells faster. This can do so too, but in a more gentle form. So that's why I'm recommending it for the bikini area. And then if you are always dealing with an ingrown in the same spot, pesky bump, leaves you with a dark mark, then you may wanna consider this one. It's by Sweet Spot Labs and it's their bikini and body bump eraser. It is full of ingredients. I was so excited when I found this. This thing is packed full of good ingredients, guys. It's got BHA and azelaic acid and niacinamide and kaolin clay and licorice root and green tea extracts. So basically you are able to brighten the skin and treat the ingrown bulb at the same time. If you've watched this channel, you've actually heard me preach about these ingredients. So I love that they put it in this nice, convenient little spot treatment. So this might be something that you would wanna put on an area 
that you know is always getting an ingrown right afterwards. And then if you choose to either do the spot treatment, the hyperpigmentation treatment, or be fancy with the mask, you're going to need to moisturize right afterwards. All right, friends, so that was number one. We now know what ingredients are going to help us calm the skin, soothe any irritation or inflammation that is there. Niacinamides, allotoin, centellica asiatica, aloe vera is another really good choice. If it's really bad, you may even want to reach for a hydrocortisone that's over the counter. Don't use that more than two weeks. If it's still going on more than two weeks and you've done these things, you may want to consult your dermatologist sooner rather than later. Let's move on to the second common condition that people often experience, which is a pseudofolliculitis. Now, this is also known as ingrown hairs, but it's when the hair is embedded in the skin and you can actually see it. So you may see like a little loop happening in the hair. This is because the hair tried to grow all the way out and then ended up getting trapped. Now this can happen anywhere, but it's definitely the most common in the armpits and the bikini area. And it's because the hair is is more curly and coarse here. So basically you have this hair that's growing, but it's a curly hair and it may never actually reach the surface. So it's growing upwards and then it doesn't actually reach the surface because it curls back in and then dead skin cells can build on top of that and it can get trapped and become an ingrown hair. You may see that very superficially on the surface of the skin. Now there's the more common variant that actually does pierce through the skin and then it just decides to curl back in and pierce back through the skin and that's another type of ingrown hair. That is more common when you are shaving because that hair can actually be very sharp when it goes to pierce back through the skin. This one is more easy for you to actually see the loop, right? Because if it was growing up and then it curved back in, you can actually take a very nice sterile clean tweezer and then just pop that hair back out before you move on to the best shaving practices that we just went through. So there's some things you can do for embedded hairs that tends to be the best method if you can actually see it. If you can't see it, don't go digging guys. Please, please, please don't go digging. You can try to exfoliate or just go see your dermatologist for other options. And again, the exfoliants I recommend for this area are gonna be your PHAs, your AHAs, your lactic acid. It's gonna be a fantastic choice if this is happening down in the bikini area. Linking these below. Now, if that ingrown hair starts to get inflamed and irritated, your body's defense mechanisms have now recognized it as foreign and are attacking it to try to get it to leave the body, you're going to get a bump here, my friend. And that bump is going to be firm, it may be painful, and it can certainly be discolored if you are darker skin tone. So you may wanna reach for the Sweet Spot Lab targeted treatment that we talked about earlier because it can take care of the bacterial portion, it can take care of the inflammatory portion, and it's treating the dark marks at the same time. Speaking of dark marks, hyperpigmentation in the bikini area can also be a result of friction, which is why using a balm is a really good idea because it will help to minimize the friction. You see, look at how easy that kind of glides back and forth. It will allow the skin that is on top of each other, like for example, your inner thighs rubbing back and forth, it allows it to glide a lot easier, which will minimize the friction. It also is treating the hyperpigmentation at the same time. You guys know I love a good two-in-one product. So if we can use a balm, we're allowing the friction to be minimized. And if we're using a balm that is rich with hyperpigmentation fighting ingredients, we are treating the pigment at the same time. Win-win for everybody. Another super important thing to note is that hyperpigmentation in the bikini area can be a result of hormonal changes or even a fungal cause. Now, if you think that this may be you, it's very important that you consult a dermatologist for proper diagnosis and treatment plan. Now, this brings me to the last topic we're gonna to talk about today, which are pustules. They may actually have burst if you had this in the past. Now the actual symptom of this is going to be pain. It can be quite painful to have a pustule because there's so many inflammatory cells on the inside. This is because the bacteria on the surface of the skin actually got trapped down within that hair follicle and now your immune system is going crazy. You definitely do want to see your dermatologist if you have true folliculitis because it often requires prescription medication. Things you can do until you get there are cleansing with antibacterial soap. Now, Hibiclens is a great antiseptic. That's something that you can find over the counter. In fact, if you're prone to this, it's a good idea to keep this in the shower and use this in the bikini area. 
You may even want to go with a benzoyl peroxide cleanser, but just be really careful here because it can be irritating. Notorium has formulated a really nice benzoyl peroxide cleanser that's formulated with other nourishing ingredients that makes it more gentle on the skin. But if this is you, please make sure to schedule an appointment with your dermatologist because most likely you're gonna need prescription medication that can come in the form of tablets or creams, but you definitely don't want those pustules to become more like abscess. All right, friends, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If so, please give it a thumbs up and share with others. Please let me know what you wanna see next week. I literally just go through my comment sections and that is how I make the video for each week. So if you have something that you really want me to do a deep dive into, please comment it down below. I will do everything in my power to make that video for you. Until next week, everyone, be well.